in yoga time. I'm so excited. We are be bringing the Vibe Tribe to you. And today, we have Mia. Woo! Mia is joining us because Mia is working on her Paleo Pets business today, creating some new products. Um, and we have Austi is with us today, um, trialing these uh, products. But we also have Stacy, and Stacy's amazing. Today it's a surprise yoga because it's really it's something a little bit different. It's her specialty. Hey, before we get started and before Stacy goes on about what she's going to be doing, I want to know where you are because I think this is awesome. We're reaching more and more people every week. Thank you, Heather. Yes. And it would be really cool to see where in the world people are practicing yoga every week with us and we can build this up. And, and eventually we'll be doing this with thousands of people. And I think it's amazing that we can actually spread the word that health is not as hard as you think, that sometimes taking 15 minutes out of the day for yourself will do more than anything else in your day. Stacy, what are we doing today? We are yeah. doing Pilates. Yay! So I have found that with my Pilates background, it's made me a better yogi um, because a lot of yogis have really lax ligaments and they don't really understand where the musculature is. So if you add a Pilates base to your yoga practice, it only makes you stronger and more efficient in how you move through a movement. So I'm gonna introduce Pilates to you, um, and I'll describe it a little bit about what What, what is the difference between Pilates and yoga? Because some people may not know this. And I've been to yoga classes where we do a little Pilates in it. Yes, because you can, they can, you can mix and match a little bit. Yes. Yeah. So I hope today when I bring you, you can flow in between like a sun salutation A to a little of the Pilates work, sun salutation B, and then a little more of the Pilates work. Pilates has been around as long as modern new day yoga. It's been around for a really long time and it's all about recreating the natural curvature of the spine. We wanna be in a neutral spine all the time. That's where we are most connected and most efficient. Um, a lot of people have a lot of spinal injuries, a lot of hip immobilities. Neck and too. Neck yes. injuries. So between all of the vertebrae that we own, we want to recreate that natural spine. Protect your spine. All the time. All the time. And so a lot of times too, when we talk musculature, we work from the inside out in Pilates. So in a power yoga class, you focus on all your big, big muscles, which is great. But until you understand how to work from the inside out, it's only a smarter, uh, more effective practice. So let's get started. All right, wait, oh, tell us. Okay, so this is, we're in Akron, but I want, we have people in Akron that follow us. So where are your studios and what are they? Because you have a whole variety of things going on in your life besides five kids. <laughs> um, I own a Pilates studio called Pure Flow Studio. I'm behind West Side Bakery so you can, see, you can get a cookie after. Um, and, uh, there are three of us that teach there and we have six stock Pilates uh, reformers, which is a contemporary approach to Pilates, it's not a classical style, it's a little more athletic, and I'm an athlete and a sporty girl, and that's why I chose that. The bar studio is Bar Post Studio. We offer bar, and then we also offer anti-gravity, which is a yoga. I've heard about that. Um, yeah, so anti-gravity, explain that. People might not know this. So anti-gravity is suspension in an aerial strap. It's one hammock. Look it up, just look it up. The pictures are amazing. It's cool. It recreates that neutral spine inverted. You have, it's the only thing that we can do three-dimensionally in an undecompressed manner. Yeah. And then the other studio is Row. We just opened it, and we are high intensity, we have water rowers, and TRX. It's all about stability training where we come from. And oh my gosh, you rock. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna start um, just on, on your mat, and you can do Pilates in any space. Do you wanna restate what you want them to do? Because we had several people just join. Oh yes, if you just join, please comment below what city and state you are in, because we wanna see where everyone is that is joining us. And please don't forget to um, tag someone, share this. There's a lot of people in the world that could benefit from Pilates and yoga, uh, and everybody could benefit. So please, please, please share our love. So I guess I'll face this way. Um, just like in yoga, we do a Ujjayi breath. Pranayama is really important in Pilates. So the breath is actually in through your nose and out through pierced lips. If you're comfortable with a cooling breath in yoga, it's that pierced lips that help you engage your core. There are five basic principles in a Pilates class. Breath is one of them. Scapular or shoulder stability, where your shoulder blades are on your back at any given moment, because they are not attached to anything bony. 
So a lot of times people don't know where their muscles are in space, and there are seven different movements that the scapula can do if you include winging. So I'm gonna do a little warm up with you to help you find your basic principles. Uh, shoulder stability or scapular stability, hip placement or pelvic stability, where you have your pelvis at any time. Can you balance water glasses without spilling or wobbling them? Where your head and your neck are in space, because whatever your torso does, those 12 thoracic vertebrae follow the neck. The neck will always do what you're doing with your torso. So if you've got a natural flexion through your torso, your neck is automatically going to go there. Um, and then, um, so head and cervical, scapular stability, rib cage placement. You'll see a lot of yogis who have that nice extension through their spine and they flare out their ribs. So we want to really knit the ribs together and help you find your core. Hi. <laughs> so it is all core all the time. She's fine. She's all right. I'm over. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start uh, lying down and we'll just do a couple of your basic principles. We want to recreate the neutral spine, but to start, so y'all can lay down with me. Okay. We're going to try to find an imprinted spine. It's a flat back. It's not a, a, a super tuck if you ever hear that. We never say tuck. We always say a slight tilt or a posterior scoop. So you want to really think about lengthening the lumbar, the lower vertebrae, which is hypersensitive and we've got a lot of injuries there, to connect the ribs towards the pelvis. So I should not be able to fit my hand underneath your lower back. That's an imprint spine. From there, we're gonna go ahead and just exhale your right leg up and your left leg up to find what we would call tabletop. If you wanna recruit the inner thighs, you can find your knees together. The arms are gonna go long along your sides, the palms are down. I want you to just give a shoulder shrug. You're gonna reach your shoulders into your ears. That's elevation, that's one of the scapular movements. Now slide your fingers down. That is depression, that's two, that second movement of your shoulder blades. Now reach your arms up to the sky, shoulder flexion, and then as you exhale, bring them down, that's extension. So there's two others, or actually three others if you consider winging, but we're just gonna go ahead and do a scissor. Squeeze the thighs, pull the navel into the spine, knit the ribs. You always wanna feel like someone's gonna put their abs or their hands on your abdominals, and you're gonna do what we call bracing. It's inside out as you work the abdominal muscles. Right arm's gonna go up to the sky. It doesn't matter if your palm is in or not. Now take it in line with your ear, but pull the shoulder down so that you engage underneath the armpit and the lats. You're gonna pulse, pulse. It's gonna be a exhale, exhale. You inhale through center, you cross your hands. Your left arm goes pulse, pulse, inhale. So as you're moving through scapular isolation, flexion and extension through the shoulders, can you pull your rib cage together? Can you find your pelvic floor <laughs> and even your ab connection? So that's the first thing. Last two, inhale, exhale, and then come all the way down to release. Now head nod, drop your feet down for me. Palms are gonna go down along your side. Open your chest so that the shoulders are actually externally rotated. You're going to look at the ceiling and change your eye gaze about two inches. It's like you're looking at somebody and you're changing to say yes and then nod back. That's a head nod. That's the initiation of every movement we do in a Pilates class. So it's not necessarily chin into your chest. That's over flexion of the cervical spine and that's where injury can happen. It's an eye gaze change. So go ahead and inhale, change your eye gaze. Now exhale, press into the lower back, imprint spine, and curl your upper body up. Slide your fingers, nod your head no. You've got an orange in between your chin and the ch in, in your chest, and you're just gonna see if you can float your legs up. We could be able to stay here all day long. If you feel it through yeah. your neck, lower it down a little bit. Read the belly button deeper into the spine. Squeeze your thighs. Pilates hundred, the palms hover. You pulse for five, you pulse for five. It's an inhale in, exhale out. Two, three, four, five. If you've got it in your practice and you can keep your back flat, exhale, two, three, four, five. The more you get acclimated to a Pilates class, the more you can recreate that neutral spine as long as the ribs are connected and you're breathing. I should hear everybody breathing. Let's do two more, inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, breathe three-dimensionally through your ribs. Exhale, press, you have one more set. Inhale, exhale, two, three, four, and five. Keep the head curled up and the knees and then lengthen the spine.
spine down. Are you warm? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll up on our sits bones. I want you to balance, please. Take outside of your shins. These are your pronials. We talk muscles in Pilates. Curl, pull your knees over, look over your toes and lift up a little bit. You only roll to where your middle back muscles are. Ladies, where your bra strap are, or uh, bra straps are, and then men, where if you were to order or wear a cardiac monitor around, like a, like a running heart rate monitor, that's where it would be. You're gonna roll just your scapula, and then exhale, curl up. The more you swing, <laughs> <I'm thinking laughs> away. So, you are engaging your pelvic floor. So if you really understand your body, you've got a muscular sheet, keep going. Do not touch your head down, we're gonna do eight more. You've got a built-in girdle, it's called your transversus. So how you layer, your pelvic floor engages, it's a muscular sheath and men have them too. And then your transversus, your internal obliques, your external obliques, and then your rectus abdominis. So if you see somebody with a six pack, they've got it going on from the inside out. Okay, last one. Easy, right? Pull the belly button into the spine, open the shoulders. Now roll, inhale, you have three. Exhale. So what I don't want to see is a curve <laughs> point. So roll evenly. You've got beautiful vertebrae. Roll down. Last one. And then slowly come all the way back up. Okay, we're going to do a little ab series. You feel your core? <laughs> <laughs> roll back <laughs> in. <laughs> so you show me. <laughs> so let's do, let's do single bent knee into scissors, and then we'll play a little bit. And then I think you'll be done with me, right? By no, no, no. We love you. So here's where we're going to go. Right hand underneath, grab the flesh of the inside of your hamstring, closest to your knee, never under a joint. Reach your left arm long to your ankle. Try not to laterally flex your spine as a neutral, but an imprinted lumbar. Right leg's going to go long. How high can you curl up? Not from the neck, from the torso. So I'm always thinking about my sternum or my chin over my sternum. My sternum reaching over my belly button. My arms are working. My belly button curling towards my pubic bone. Your legs stay neutral in line with your hips. We switch, we grab the left inside thigh and reach. It's inhale to switch, exhale. Inhale, switch, exhale. You can smile and do it. Watch that you're not shimmying side to side a little faster. Yeah, you're slacking off over there. You gotta do these with us. Here's eight <laughs> and seven and six. Are your knees coming in line with your shoulders? You've gotta remember you've got inner thigh muscles. Four and three and two. Now keep your upper body, curl, reach. Grab above the knee, below the knee, or up to the ankle. Can you curl high? Can you stay here all day? This is what you're supposed to do on the beach, looking over at the ocean. You're gonna pulse, pulse, pulse. Do not lower your upper body. Oh, switch, switch. Exhale, exhale. Deep connection through the belly. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one, bend the knees, and rest. Oh, how do you feel? <laughs> Warm. Yeah. Do we have time to do Where one more? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that one. Warm? Yeah. You tell me. No. Yeah. How about something fun? <laughs> one more? Yes. Okay, yes. so there's yeah. a whole abdominal series. You work through everything. Roll back up on the sits bones and then back off of. You're going to grab underneath your calf. Underneath your calf, your knees can bend. We're gonna open our legs, open our heart, and eye gaze is up, and you're rolling like you just did. You roll your bra strap, you stay connected. Exhale, it's called open leg rocker. It's kind of fun, you can do more. Inhale, we've seen a lot of butt shots today. And last one, squeeze your legs together. Reach, here's your V-up. In yoga, you've done low boat. And high boat, we call this a V-up. Four more low boats, flatten out, exhale, up. Inhale, one more. And then exhale, and then stay. Lower flex of the feet, dorsiflexion, lower five. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, welcome to Pilates. Yeah. No, we're still we're on, on, right? We're still on. We're still on. We, are, we were almost.
almost low on battery, so they were oh. like scrambling for a charger, but I'm so yeah, glad we made it because that was awesome. Yeah, it it's was. hard work to do Pilates, but when you're in a plank or you're doing Chaturanga, if you can recreate that neutral spine, it just makes you stronger in that cool through your belly button. So a Pilates background or a Pilates based workout is only going to benefit your yoga practice. So they're very complementary. So if you yeah. do a mix of the two, mm -hmm. then um, you're really getting a great mm -hmm. mix and a great benefit. And your body only changes and gets better and more efficient when you mix it up. Yay! I love it. It was really good. What do you guys think? Yes. Good. Good. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Tell me again. Where are you? So I'm Barco Studio, 77 North Miller Road, Rose Studios, and we're going to be at Elevate Akron, so we're going to be at the Yoga yeah. Festival. Okay. And we're going to be there too. Primal Life Organics is going to be at oh. Elevate Akron. So look for all of us. Look for all of us. Yeah. And then um, behind West Side Bakery, Pure Flow Studio. I don't have a sign, but, but that's where we are. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. Next week, um, we're working on next week. We're going to next week. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Like that? I'll come back. Yeah, and maybe maybe Stacey will come back, yeah. maybe, because we're looking for um, Heather's gonna be gone be and gone. we need a fill-in. So yeah, that would be yeah. awesome. We would love to do Pilates again. And um, all right, thanks everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, tag, and share. Even if you didn't watch this live, if you can post where you're from, we wanna see who in the world is doing yoga and Pilates today with us with Primal Life Organics. Yeah. Thanks. Have a great day.